Kakamot, never. Just keep attention and don't force him. Stuck master on a really nice look here guys. On the artificial. In the serve, this is his dream fish. Way boy, big one boy. That's why you call him the snook master. Coming in. Walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, go, 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 go. Very big snook. Very big snook. Very big snook. What the hell, dog? <laughs> Look, master! <laughs> Very big snook here, guys. Hey! Your dream come true. That's a 10 pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call him the snook master. You see the snook master on the chest? Nice swing. You release that one? <laughs> I guess not. Nice fish, man. Alright, guys, I think they call him the real snook master. Check it out on the chest. Check it out on my hands. Okay guys, just from watching the first couple of minutes of the video, you can tell it was an epic adventure. In fact, this fishing trip was the greatest fishing experience of my life. For sure, land-based fishing on artificials and catching the kind of fish we did, I don't think you can get that experience many places in the world. And for that kind of fishing experience that we had, it was truly amazing. But I must say it didn't happen by accident. I mean, I've actually been fishing that spot for maybe about 15 years. Never caught a fish over two pounds. Um, tried many times, all different tactics, times. But there is certain times of the year, a two week or three week window, when the snook gather upon that beach. So, I've, like I said, I fished there many times before. The biggest fish I caught was probably a two pound snapper. Nothing else of significance. I've seen people catch some decent snook, tap on, and stuff like that. It's the first time I ever experienced real fishing and catching some nice fish from the spot. Like I said, it didn't happen just like that. Over the years, you know, learned from what I could, got the correct timing, the correct bait, correct tide, and things worked out in our favor. You saw Snook Master catch that really nice snook there, but even before that, Log had caught a really nice one as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get the footage of it because it was actually the first throw of the trip. I was still in the car again organizing stuff. And he hooked up to that snook and the GoPro cap was on. So uh, while I thought I was recording, no footage was seen. As you see did another shot while what happened. But that was the start of something amazing. Now try the video, um, you'll see some really nice fish. Like I said, a couple of days of fishing. Um, you'll hear me getting a bit frustrated because I simply wasn't getting any, any fish, any action, any bites. And all the fish that were caught were well, um, all baits that I gave the guys. And you'd see the boss himself, you know, the one cast man, catching some really nice fish after fish. I mean, he has some kind of special gift, that guy. But check it out. In the end, I did manage to get a snook for myself. And maybe not in this video. Um, I might say the video by itself. I got probably the best fish of my life. It, it, it's actually the best fish of my life. I don't think I'll ever beat it. Not only because of the size of the fish, the kind of fish, but circumstances under which I caught the fish. I mean, can ask for better, so you might see that in a new video, another video after this. So enjoy this one. You might see me popping up now and then for some commentary, but enjoy. Really epic adventure. Few casts here. Snook Master caught a really nice snook. That's his PB. Loggy Live caught his PB snook as well. Big snook boy! Fight him, Log, fight him, don't rough him up. Right log with the first cast. Ellie throw your line, you might have more. Give it slow, force it, log, don't force it. Your line not that strong. Big snook boy! Log, you want leader? Big snook boy, a big one boy!
Die kommen! Wee, die Hellboy! <lacht> Lucky Boy! Lucky Boy! Oh shit, der war... Und dann noch... Oh no! I recorded on the cap on! Shit! Damn it! Two great sketches on the surf, in the surf. I tried to get them to release it, but it's too PB, so they insisted on keeping it. But next time when they catch that one last time, they release it. I mean, I don't blame them, it's the biggest snow they've ever caught. Just about three more casts, and we'll call it. We'll try back the spot again tomorrow morning. Maybe we might pick up one or two more. Never know. So after we fish in the morning, and we caught those two snook and decided to go back in the evening. And within the first or second cast, snook master hooked up. Check it out. Snook master out and done a big one. Then just take your time, you can never come out on a hook. Snook master is his name. There's no catching is the game. We'll catch one this morning, we come back this evening. Big snook. Don't want to force him, no, don't want to force him. You're on the edge, you're on the edge! You see if you see if we have him, we have him. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Snuckies. Nice one. We're going for the release of this one. Nice. Is that one like log size one? Five. Five, six. Now yours is the same one with the same size log. Can you release? Yes. Yeah, Stock master going for the release. Don't go too far. So after catching that one fish, we didn't get any more bites for that day. Um, fish for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. No more signs of any fish, but you know, we still caught one. Uh, sun was setting, beautiful scenes, and we still had hope for the next day. Now the next day, I know this man have some kind of special gift or skill, some kind of luck. The first throw again, Snook Master was hooked up to another big snook. Check it out. Snook master, another snook. Third monster. In two days. Whoa! Big one, boy. I try to. Okay, no need to you can't come out of that hook, so don't worry yourself. Another big snook here guys. Snook master on. This is why they call him the snook master. I didn't even cast my line yet, man. We 
have no man in the action now. The original leader, man. Ride him in the surf. No, no. <laughs> big snook. Snook, yeah. Next big one for the snook master. Close to 8 to 9 to 10. It's the photo session. Third big snook in two days. I had a bit honor of getting a picture with the snook master. <laughs> nice big snook. Caught in the surf. Nice one. Maybe close. Then. Going for the release. So maybe man wanted to eat him, but we don't keep the PB already. Whoa, 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 whoa. One last race up for the pick. Oh, thank you, thank you. What is that? The original stop master. Yeah, he's not smart enough fish now. Big fella. You want to go? Well, Lori, can't come So I cast all over the freaking place. I can't I just smell like movement. Another big snook here, guys. Whoa! I hope I get that. I think to be go partner. Grab him, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna grab him, mate. You grab him with the club. That's a big one. Caught two big ones already, Snook Master kept the biggest and Log caught one, Captain Loggy. So nice one. Doing the right thing. Nice fella. Nice come on Snook again. Healthy. All right, now turn them this way. So snook in the area. I just trying to catch one. But no luck whatsoever. Maybe how the fishing is go sometimes. Finally guys, look on. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not so big. Nah, he's small, he's small. Don't worry, don't worry. That's not, that's not, that's not, you can't open it, baby. Small, he's small, he's small. 
Alright, man, just came out. Nice, that's four. No. Nice, that's what I'm gonna get Alright, guys, at least I get one. Not that one stuff, but I finally get one. After casting, so I'm gonna keep casting. Never stop. Never stop. Quick release on this guy, he didn't fight at all. Going well, you now, I'm gonna clear water and I'll see if I get a nice release. Big one for us. Oh, oh, oh. Big one. Oh, the bad drop leader. Oh, he's right there. Nice, nice. one, dog. Finally, a girl, baby. <laughs> I think I'm the GoPro. Safe pregnant. <laughs> Octopus on the jetty here, guys. So after two days of fishing, Snook Master caught three really nice snook. Log caught one, Nosman caught a really nice one, and I finally got probably the smallest of the lot, but I finally got a snook. The two days of fishing was epic. Now we did have one more morning before we had to go back. And knowing me, I just had to go back and try for one last time. Flight was I think around 11. So I know we have a couple hours in the morning to give it a try. And although I struggled for the two days, finally, that morning was my morning. Although again, we fished hard, and maybe in the last five minutes is when it happened. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming up next. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, guys. Fish on.